going on to all of my aquarists out there how y'all doing so let's get into it all right let's get into it all right so for you aquarius card fell out you have the um the four swords ten of cups ace of pentacles the chariot the king of wands the hangman Eight of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, and last but not least, the Four of Cups. Okay, so Ten of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. Okay, uh, all right. So, I mean, what I'm seeing here is the Four of Swords, the Ten of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles are more about cards about letting go of. A situation four of swords the four of swords is, is about resting so i'm just seeing how a lot of you uh aquarius are resting up for something big the ten of cups letting go of a situation ace of pentacles understanding that there's a lot more in store for you in the future the chariot the king of wands the hanged man mm. um okay taking a break from dating as of right now for a little bit to kind of the Ten of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, right from left to right, taking a break from um, taking a break from just kind of uh, getting to know people. Now, I will say that obviously not going to necessarily completely stop, but I have seen that something is is. Something more important came up, you know, all the hard work that a lot of you Aquarius have been doing behind the scenes, the job, some of you even potentially getting a raise, making more money. There's definitely an uptick in how much it is that you're getting. There's definitely some sort of potential for the Aquarius that that run their own business. And a lot of you Aquarius right now that you have the chariot again, which is just another rest card. The four swords and the chariot are cards of rest having to learn to relax, put a pause on, some sort of stop. And what you've put a pause on is, is this, the Ten of Cups, trying to go after, um, you know, many different people, right? Because a lot of people right now are kind of, unfortunately, they're kind of disappointing you because of how a lot of people are not really evolved, you know? They're not really, they're not really serious about um, dating, getting to know the person for themselves, being in a, in a functional relationship, having a family, you know, and then and then building together. And some of that type of stuff is bumming a lot of you Aquarius out. And as a result, a lot of you Aquarius are just kind of resting. And then you have the King of Wands thinking about, you know, as, you, as you're resting and taking a little bit of a break, it's not that you're gonna completely come to a stop getting to know people, Right. If you see someone that you that, you know, you are attracted to first first glance, but the King of Wands is about like um, just kind of like I said, thinking about how, you know, you can essentially get to that family and, you know, the, the family, you know, meeting the person that's good for you. You know what I mean? And the hangman represent, you know, just really being deep into that and really thinking deeply about how you can get how how you can get a family. Well, to be honest with you, uh, Aquarius, it's more so if a person is willing to see what it is that, like I said before, what you want to do. Right. Regardless of wherever on the earth you go, regardless of wherever you are. What you want to do is you want to find out if people are wasting your time or if they are going to be a waste of your time later on in the future so you can be able to know when is a good time to stop hanging out with them, okay? And the best way for you to do that, I'm going to make it very simple, is for you to learn game. And what I mean when I learn game Learn manipulation. There's a book that everyone can get. I'm giving you resources. There's a book that everyone can get called Mind Control 101. And it talks about there's 101 manipulative tactics. 
and it talks about the games that people play and how, of course, when you learn it, how you can know when people are playing games with you and when and where to watch out for. So in essence, it comes down to, are people really ready to step up and to be, uh, to be uh, in you know relationship material? Are people really willing to step up? Can people even keep up with you? Can they even make sacrifices? How selfish are they? Are they selfish to the point where it becomes a detriment to them? And what you're looking at though, Aquarius is, you Aquarius, you Aquarius are looking at a time right now, or you exist in a time right now where a lot of you Aquarius are evolved past the point where people are ready to really go to and ready to really evolve to. So a lot of you Aquarius need to remember to not get discouraged, really, don't ever get discouraged. Don't ever start thinking, start looking at your own value like you're trash, no, right? Especially if you're, especially if you're living correctly, especially if you're not like trolling people or any of that crap. Don't ever think that, it, that you're the one that's terribly wrong. No, what it is is the people around you that you happen to be meeting which is the majority of people who are out here, they are dysfunctional. So don't ever trip. You know, as long as you keep this decency, don't start thinking that it's on you, okay? If you're finding value within this reading, then it means it's time for you to come get a personal reading from me. Uh, there's a link in the comment section called a link tree. Click on it. It'll redirect you to uh, uh, my Instagram page. It'll redirect you to the books that I have that are on Amazon. Right. My clothing store, anything from pants, shirts, hoodies, T-shirts, coffee mugs. Uh, it'll redirect you to my website for private tarot readings. Um, you, it's, you, you can actually click on the button. It'll say buy now. Click on that or cash app. Cash tag is above the buy now button. Just in case if you want to pay me through cash app or PayPal, the options are there. And my email address at Kareem Spareworks at Yahoo.com. They're there too, just in case if you'd like to contact me, but you don't want to pay me through my uh, website. Thank you. So the Eight of Pentacles and the Three of Wands now represents how the Eight of Pentacles is about building on yourself, right? Building upon yourself. And some of you Aquarius need to understand that maybe too, you may want to travel. Because sometimes it's a, it's a matter of traveling. Sometimes it's a matter of location. Right. A lot of people here in New York for me, you know, speak to a lot of try to speak to a lot of individuals, excuse me, from New York. A lot of them are stuck up. A lot of them caught up in this delusion. It may be location. And the eight of pentacles is just building upon yourselves, the three of wands, potentially looking at that, potentially looking at what you got next. Right. Or I should say whom you're going to meet next on your life's journey. The three of wands can also represent the, the potential to travel. You Aquarius may want to consider that because, like I said, your environment may be, and it is right now, that's messing you Aquarius up, where the people don't want to hang around you because they're so busy acting bougie and acting like they deserve this high value, all this amount of money, even though they ain't done anything type stuff. So you may want to end up... You may want to end up putting yourself in a situation where you get out of your comfort zone, get on a flight and go someplace else. And then you have the nine of pentacles and the four of cups. The nine of pentacles and the four of cups is, you know, other people are not going to like it. But those people who are not going to like it are the people that in are in your proximity that you may have spoken to, you know, that trying to get all up in your business. But, or, you know, won't actually be in a relationship with you when if and when word gets out, like I said before, that you left the state and you're traveling and whatever it is that you're doing is none of people's business. That's going to be a problem. The four of cups. That's when a lot more people are going to want to try to get all up in your business because the curiosity is there now. But it's too late for them because a lot of you Aquarius would have moved on spiritually because you don't now you don't want them. 
you know? So, let's clarify the, um, the Four of Cups. Oh, wow, a lot of cards. Two cards. The Sun, which is Leo, which is the exact opposite of Aquarius. The Seven of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, right. There's the, these four cards is showing you, look, that there's nothing holding you back from being from from being happy. There's nothing holding you back but location. People around you are dysfunctional. So, you know, you know. I I live in New York. I li I've traveled certain places. You know what I mean? Connecticut, New Jersey, Trinidad and Tobago, Puerto Rico, Barbados. You know, could have went to California, but the networking don't stop. The meeting new people doesn't stop. I'll speak to people in any one of those uh, countries, states that I've been to. As many people that can put me on to the language and how people move over there as much as I possibly can. And because in New York, it's very difficult, you know, to interact with some people. Because like I said, not everybody, obviously, but there's a but there's a lot of people who live in my city who act stuck up. Same thing for you, Aquarius. It's a proximity thing. Part of it is a proximity thing. So that's pretty much it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. Travel, you know, broaden your horizons a little bit. I'm trying to make my YouTube channel grow to 10,000 subscribers by the end of June. As of right now, we have 4,620 some odd subscribers. Appreciate y'all. Hit the like button, hit the uh, subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and set the notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop videos.